Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number two. Hey, this is a series where we learn how to build fast calculating formulas for big spreadsheets. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, go to my YouTube channel and my college website link and download the workbook called Excel Formula Efficiency. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see how to uh, create a formula timer because if we're going to see if certain formulas are faster than others we need to time them now this whole series is in large part based on this amazing white paper right here I'm gonna I have a link up here I'm gonna click on it <coughs> it's from Microsoft and it's called Excel uh, improve performance in Excel 2007 now almost all of the tricks we're gonna learn uh, can be used in both 2003 and 7 but as we will see uh, the bottom line is the new functions and some of the new features in Excel 2000 and cell blow away anything in earlier versions for large spreadsheets hey uh, I'm gonna scroll down here because there's you got it this paper is amazing there's there's all sorts of sections and I'm only covering a few amazing points for them but if you scroll down um, a certain way there's a section that says measuring calculation time and we actually want to copy and it tells you if you read this how to copy and paste it into Excel we're gonna copy this I'm gonna start it private and scroll down this is the actual timer we have and then end function control C alt tab to go back to Excel and now to open up the uh, VBA editor window we're gonna use alt F11 Alt F11. Now, for those of you in 2007, you better use .xls or .xlsm because the new extension .xlsx does not work with VBA code. Now, we want to go to Insert Module. And notice over here we see our workbook. It's called uh, Excel Formula Efficiency. And then there's all of our sheets. And I'm scrolling down. There's the workbook and there's the module. I'm going to click over here on the right and control V. Now I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to go back to our uh, website because there's two parts to this code. Right below this end function you scroll down a little bit and then here's some more. So I'm going to start at sub and then drag my cursor down and then get ready to copy using control C. There's the end sub right there. And sub, control C, alt tab, control V for paste. I'm going to control S to save it. This is the compatibility checker because I'm using .xls even though I have Excel uh, 2007. Now I want to use that code um, but I'd like to add it to a, a button so I could just click on the button and uh, time any formula I have selected. Now in 2007 you got to add the developer ribbon by going to the uh, orb here you click on that the office button Excel options and all the way up under popular you have to show developer tab in ribbon. In uh, 2003 you right click any toolbar and then point to the forms toolbar. Hey I'm going to go up to developer and I'm going to click on this button and then uh, this cursor allows me to click and hold the click and draw and immediately it pops up because it's a form button it wants uh, which macro um, which macro to use and you can read in the white paper about all the different ones um, but we're going to use range timer and then click OK and I'm going to highlight this while it's still in edit mode and type um, or time formula Then I'm going to click out here. Now we can click on a cell and time it. Now I have just a silly example here. Uh, we're going to use this code going forward to time all sorts of different formulas. But here we have a VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, it looks up the score here. It goes over and gets the rate that this person has to pay based on their credit score. Here's another formula. Ooh, yuck. Who made that formula with all those ifs when you could use VLOOKUP? Let's time them both. You know, you would think that this one should take a lot longer. Uh, let's click on this one and click time and it's we selected the range one so it's just a single cell and click on it and there it is 0 0.018 now let's click on this one 0 0.001 oh, so that one turned out to be faster 
Let's do that again. Actually, you have to do this about three times and average them. It usually takes a little bit longer the first time. And oh, so 0 0.008, so three zeros and an eight. Click on this one, uh, zero, zero. Okay, so the VLOOKUP did go a lot faster when we did it the second time. But usually, as we will do later on, we'll uh, write down a bunch of times and then average them, and that'll give us a, a better idea. So that's how to uh, time your formulas, especially when you have big spreadsheets. When we come back, we'll, we'll use our timer and a couple of amazing functions and see which one is faster. All right, we'll see you next trick.